Hello everyone, it is Kipisto, and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Star Wars Republic Commando on the Mac. On any version of Mac, 10.5.8 or higher, I'm running Mavericks, as you can see here, the wallpaper and everything. So, let's get started. Alright, so first, what you want to do is download the Star Wars Republic Commando Mac port. I, um, this, I host this download, it's safe, so don't worry, just click here, download that, and what else, the other things you need to download are x -Quartz and wine. This is a link links from my old video. I'll put these in my in the description. So you won't have to search for them, they'll just be in the description. Yeah, same with the Republic Commando port. Um, wine, click here, download and click here in the description and install both applications. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is oh and you need a Republic Commando disc. I have a PC DVD version. So what you do is you double click it to open it up. Oh and um the contents, you uh, after you download the Republic Commando Mac port, just double click it to unzip it. And um, here it is, so we're just going to put that on the desktop for now. Alright, so now you're opening up, you've opened up the Republic Commando PC disk you put in your computer. So now we need to look um, for setup Republic Commando.exe. So uh, that's just wine now, that's nothing. Alright, so now it's going to create a prefix. I've already, already created one, so I don't have to worry about that. I think it's using the wrong one, though. Uh, let's try this again. There we go. Okay, so it's uh, using this prefix I created. So you click Go. It's going to launch x -Quartz. That's why you need the, that. And it's also launching Wine, as you can see up here. Just gotta give it a moment. Here we go. Alright, so now it's launching the install application. And I'm just gonna get rid of that. Alright, so now you say next. And uh, let me type in my CD key. Okay, so after you type in your CD key, you click OK, and this is gonna pop up. Say I accept the terms and agreements. And click automatic. Um, no, you don't want GameSpy, and you click install. Now this thing will come up. And it's installing the game right now, and I'll just get back to you guys when it's finished. So it's not done yet, but I just want to say, um, uh, credits right now, I did not make this port right here, that you can run this game. It's a guy named Battlefiler over on Porting Team, star, or just PortingTeam.com. I didn't make this, I'm just making the two the tutorial, so don't uh, don't thank me for the port, thank him. I don't know if he's still active there, but that's where I found it. And it's no longer hosted there, which is really a shame, so I've decided I'm going to put it back out there, because it's really great. It works awesome, and that's what I use for Battlefront 1, Battlefront 2, and Republic Commando, all by the same guy. And I'll probably be redoing my Battlefront 1 video now that I've found a screen recorder that's compatible with Wine and launching applications and stuff. So, um, yeah. Okay, so after it installs, um, this will pop up when it's done installing. Just uncheck both of these, unless you want to see the README. Did it finish? Alright, so now you need to find the folder and install it, and you can quit x -Quartz and Wine. So go to, for um, people who made a new prefix, it'll be in the home. It'll be right here, but that's um, not where I have mine, but that's where yours will be. So, mine's right here. So now it'll, it'll have a folder named Wine Files. Mine's called Wine. Go in Drive C, Program Files, and you'll see a folder called LucasArts. Now you want to drag that to the desktop. Okay, so this is where you just installed all this stuff. So, and in this, in the Star Wars, so you have, so you have LucasArts, Star Wars Republic Commando, and um, there's all this stuff in here. You can delete everything except game data. You don't need any of the other stuff to run the game. Okay, and then in game data you should have all this stuff. Alright, so now the next thing you want to do is right click this Star Wars Republic Commando app, show package contents, this window will pop up, go to contents, resources, transgramming, C drive, program files, now you want to drag LucasArts into the program files folder. And there you have it. You've just installed Star Wars Republic Command on your Mac. And just to show you it works, I'll you say open it. And 
takes a little bit while the first time to launch it, but after the first time it, it goes fast. I have to get it in windowed mode, do command enter. Just for the sake of the tutorial. Um, and as you can see it's working. New profile. The only thing that doesn't work is there's supposed to be moving stuff in the background, but it's not doesn't work on the Mac version, but that's fine. So um yeah. The game runs great. Multiplayer works also. Oh, I didn't actually show you that. Uh, multiplayer only works. So it runs that way, and if you're only interested in single player, that works fine. But if you want multiplayer to work, you have to go show package contents, right click show package contents. Um, go to contents, resources, preferences, and then open system.reg in text edit. Okay, so this is how you get multiplayer to work. So now you can do command F and you're gonna search for XXX, just a bunch of X's. Oh no no. C D key. And here we go. So this will pop up. C C D key equals and it's just all these X's. Now if you have a real copy of Republic Commando type your CD key in place for these, but keep these little dashes. And I, do, I think it's case sensitive, so type your CD key in here. And now, then you just save it, and then exit out. I'm not going to type mine in, because I don't want you guys to see it. Um, and then, once you save that, multiplayer should work. So yeah, um, have fun playing Star Wars Republic Commando. Check out my uh, other tutorial videos. I'm probably going to remake the Battlefront 1 video tutorial since I have a good screen recorder now. Alright, see you later.